K100 Radio, we're live right now. Uh, still at the Georgia Film Trade Show and Networking Event. A lot of great people. We have an author right here that wants to tell us about some uh, uh, some of her work and her book that she has going on. Please introduce yourself to the camera and tell us who you are. Hi. Yes, my name is Tanya Cannon. I am an author, and I live in South Georgia. And I just wrote a book. Um, just uh, came out um, January the 2nd, mm -hmm. 2018. Uh, basically talking about domestic violence. The name of the book is called If You Hit Me One More Time. She has it right here. Let me hold that up for you. All right. Check if You Hit Me One More Time. And we're basically, you know, trying to empower our younger generation about domestic violence. I am actually a survivor of domestic violence. I went to 14 years of domestic abuse. I had small kids, and I decided one day that I was not going to be a victim anymore. I was going to be a victor. So I made a decision to leave my abuser and uh, live and raise my kids. And um, God has really blessed me. Um, he blessed me with three fine sons. I have two police officers. I have one physical therapist. I also have a chef. And I have one that's on the school to be a nurse. So I thank God that he has actually opened up the door for me to be able to talk to the younger generation about what's going on because it's so prevalent in our society today. And I feel like we should be able to, as women, any, any survivor out there, if you have lived uh, through domestic violence and you have uh, made it, then you should be able to go out and empower uh, the generation uh, and talk about this because someone might say, well, you know, it's not going on in my house. Right. But you don't know what's going on down the road. Right. Or you don't door, know what's going door. on in your neighborhood. Right. I mean, you might have some child that's witnessing domestic violence between his parents, and he's trying to figure out what he's going to do. He needs to get that rifle. He needs to get that gun out so he can go out and he can kill up some people. He wants to go and shoot up the school. So we have to make a difference. Uh, we have to make a difference. It's, it don't have to be in your home, but we want to help our children. Our children are struggling. Um, when I was small, you know, one of the things that we did, we, we listened. We listened. You know, a lot of parents don't think that children listen at the fights, but they do. They do, and they carry it. They carry it in their minds. You know, they, we went to school the next day after witnessing fights. I, I was raised around gambling. I was raised around fighting. I was raised around alcohol, and we had to go to school with all that stuff on our minds. Right. You Hard know, to learn, yeah. Right. So, you know, in our generation now, is uh, out of control. Once they took prayer out of schools, and once they stopped, you know, doing the biblical teachings, then the enemy came into the schoolhouses, and they are taking over our children. So we got to take it back. We have to take back the authority and be able to go out and speak. You know, we have this thing. We can we can speak about it because if we don't speak about it, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a hold of us. Well. We want to make sure that you guys have got it. You definitely are passionate about what you're doing. We want to make sure that you guys, again, check it out. This is called If You Hit Me One More Time. You know, with that kind of passion, I'm pretty sure you guys definitely want to check out this book. And um, she's out here right now networking. I'm pretty sure you may be trying to pitch it. How was the networking event? And did you meet anybody that can maybe help you uh, maybe get this and turn this into a, a, a TV series or oh, a movie absolutely. anything? absolutely. I have met so many right. producers and film editors oh my god i am just so impressed i don't even want to go home <laughs> i don't even want to go home i mean i have so many connections yeah. i mean i have had a fantastic time out here and this is awesome well, well this is awesome well i'm glad to meet you i'm glad you got a chance to chop it up with us over here at k100 radio please give out any social media where they can find you online absolutely you can go to uh, my facebook it's called tanya favors tanya filer favors that is my facebook you can also find me on Twitter. Um, my website address is www.tanyacannonministries.org. That's www.tanyacannonministries.org. Well, make sure you look that up, and uh, thank you for all the work that you're doing, uh, trying to bring awareness to the, uh, domestic violence. I'm glad. I hope somebody uh, hears your story and can take this and put it to another level and, and reach a wider audience. Thank you for chopping it up with us. Yes, and also I want to let them know they can go to Amazon and also Barnes & Nobles and, and purchase the book. Make sure you get it. If you hit her one more time, <laughs> it's a wrap for you. All right, K100 Radio. <laughs>